So yeah, like I was talking in the last video, which, hi guys, by the way. Um, I was talking about how, like, adding plot points to the book, where it won't make people look like idiots. And with that, I have been trying to create some good plot points, characters, and thinking about colors, which add to not only, the, you know, the channel layout, but, you know, other things with how I do things on the channel and whatever else. Um, I do revisit plot points that I've thought of in the past, and I know, uh, I'm gonna think of some far-off shit. I see something really cool, and I'm like, I'm basically like, hold my fucking beer. Like, I, that's what I see, like, I'm like, okay, how can I make this more outlandish and more, like, just what the fuck? And, like, stretch people's ideas, like, no one's stupid enough to do it, uh, crazy enough to do it, I'm like, well, I am. Fuck it. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> you might get it. Uh, and yeah, I might make fun of some series. It will be lighthearted. Some of them might be a little hardcore, but yeah, I don't care. Hell, I might even make a reference to something. I think people go like, damn, dude, what the fuck? And I'm like, don't care. And I'm like, dude, how could they just do that? And then... And here's the funnier part, guys. I don't have a Twitter. So, if I do make... Well, you know, make light heart of whatever else, I won't have to hear people, because, you know... How the fuck are they going to contact me? <laughs> exactly. My life will be better for it. And you're like, well, then how the fuck people are going to know about your series? They will find their ways. I like to do it by word of mouth. And, like, if I even try to explain myself on that site, I know damn well people are going to just try to twist it in their own favor. And that's why I don't bother to have a Twitter. It's, not, it's, it's, just, it's just a toxic well of fucking masculinity and a bunch of parentless... Holy grown adults and a bunch of horny Twitter artists. Which... I respect the horny Twitter artists. At least they don't make fun of people for absolutely no fucking reason. I respect them for that. They live their life. They want to do whatever the f they want to do. If they want to, like, draw art of a certain character with bigger boobs, go for it, my dude. You're not bothering anyone. Just make the fucking art, man. That's why I respect them. Because they don't go out of their way to devalue people. They just do what they want to do, and I respect that. But if they do, well, please stop before uh, you ruin yourself, okay? Try to give them an out. People should always be given at least an out before they do something completely fucking stupid. You know what I mean? I know I have done some very stupid things in the past, and I'm well aware of it. And I'm accountable of my actions. That's why I try to limit myself with, um... Few things like YouTube. So, I don't do anything stupid. I'm well aware of how... This place and this internet works. I know how it works. Don't remind me. I know. Damn. Yeah, there's a lot of characters to this game. Just suck. This sucks. I won't be able to play as all of them. Just like I did with Pokemon Unite, but. Hey. It is what it is. I can't. I mean, I can return. But. I don't know, dude. I mean, I had fun. I had fun with the videos that I was doing. I felt like I. Accomplish a few things, but yeah, I will work on my thing. 
I hope you guys don't make fun of me for it and whatever else, but you probably are, so... Yeah, you can judge me for whatever else. And, you know, make fun of me, but hey, at least I'm acting upon those dreams than just burying them and making myself miserable by not being true to myself. But that's just me. I have things and wants, but hey, if... If it doesn't really work out, then hey, at least I had the idea, and hopefully someone else can push it further than I could. You know what I mean? I see all these ideas, and I want it to be more explained upon, and it just sucks that no one else does it. And But I respect people who keep things alive, who put in the work. I give kudos to them, because they fucking deserve it. Because they put their time and effort in everything into making sure that that thing works to the best to its best. And that's why I give them the respect they deserve. So thank you guys for keeping online uh, the Wii and the DS games up for the way they are. I won't be able to donate because I don't have a lot of money. But I'll support you with words nonetheless. Thank you guys so much. Your work won't go uncredited. Thank you so much for keeping those games alive. And with that, I'll see you guys with the finale of this game. Peace. Stay crispy, guys. Bye.